it honestly feels like I am like re falling in love with coffee. I've always been like a coffee drinker, like for the past like at least six, seven years. But for the past like two, three weeks, coffee has been bringing me so much joy. Like I look forward to my morning coffee or just like my midday coffee or even my evening coffee. Amount of coffee shots that I've taken for the past few videos. It is Saturday. I woke up and I realized it's prime day. So I spent like almost two hours just going through my wish list and just like browsing through all of the deals. I picked out like a few books which I wanted to get. Do I buy them? Do I not buy them? Do I buy them? Do I not buy them? I did drop the ball and I spent like quite a lot of money. I also got Kulfi's food. I don't know why I'm using Kulfi's food as an excuse for me to buy like six new books. But yeah, four of the books will be here tomorrow. So maybe we'll have like a prime day haul. I got really good deals. So I'm very excited to see the results of that. I don't know. My voice is kind of sounding very scratchy. Like <clears throat> maybe it's because of the fact that I just woke up. See that mess back there on my bed? I need to take care of it and then get started with the editing. Today we are going to finally sit down and reorganize my bookshelves. I want to unhaul. I've never done unhaul before. Like I am like a serious book holder, but yeah, I need to let go of a few books. So many 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 hours later I just got done editing the video it is all uploaded and scheduled for today as I said like I just like I'm gonna post on my whim I don't know when how many videos I'm gonna post like I have like a one video baseline and after that if I have time if I feel inspired there will be there will be more videos I decided to do this entire week as like a series for example, the first episode was just me deleting my social media and talking about all of that. I think so, second episode, which is going to be today and tomorrow, it's going to be just preparing for the preparing for the new week, which is starting Monday. And I just have like a few little things left to fill up in that uh, no plan B, like template on Notion. I have to like create like a spreadsheet for all of my tracking and stuff. I still have not sat down and gone through my bank statements. I need to do that either today or tomorrow. This time I am not doing it out of wanting to change. This time I'm doing this out of being sick of remaining where I am. And I feel like that is like much more, that is like much stronger motivation in my opinion. I know motivation is fleeting. It's not constant so i am also going to focus on creating discipline and consistency that will be like whatever happens like if i decide to do like episode four or five or whatever in the future we'll talk about that but right now these are the three episodes which are going to go like this episode one went up today this episode second which you're watching right now is going up wednesday for me and then episode three will go next saturday that is how this is taking shape in my brain right now i spent the last three to four hours editing i am going to take a little break for lunch honestly i'm having a lot of fun and not fun per se but i'm just like feeling very present in the moment right now because i'm just taking a look at every single thing that is going on in my life i'm not shying away from things which are not going as per plan like things which i have been ignoring i'm like facing the issues head on and it is in turn making me realize things and making me just like figure things out for myself i'm just excited to see what ends up happening of this week and i am just honestly very sick of going back to the old ways and I cannot wait to get started on the new things in my life. It, it is like two days later. It's Monday now. I just don't exist 
on Sunday, like Ritwik as like an individual person, like the Ritwik you guys saw on Saturday does not exist on Sunday. I think so I've done this rant in a vlog like a few months back, but I just don't exist on Sundays. Yesterday I was just spending time with the family. I went outside with my parents. I visited my cousins and my aunts and uncles and it was a fun time. I came back home late, so I did not get to film or just like do all of the things. So today is all going to be about reorganizing my room, reorganizing my bookshelves. Also have a book haul because my prime day deliveries came in. So yeah. You guys want to know one thing? What it is, ho? What is up? Every good girl needs a little thug. Every block boy needs a little love. And if you put it down, I'm gonna pick it up. Just excuse whatever the fuck that was. But we have a big bag. I was expecting it to be a box, but this packaging is not it. It's four books. You just don't give like this flimsy as fuck paper bag. I get it, it's easy. But I can accept it for one book or maybe two books. But if you're sending four books together, I, I expect a box. I'm very excited for the books that are in here. Ooh, I got some really amazing pics. <laughs> New books make me so happy. It is honestly not okay. Like the amount of happiness I get from bound printed pages with a good ass cover design. It is unreal. It is unreal. Ooh. Ooh, the quality is amazing. Okay, so first up we have is Almond by Won Pyung Son. I'm very sorry if the pronunciation is wrong, but I've had my eye on this book for a really long time. It's a pretty small book, just about like 260 pages. It goes, the MRP is 500 and I just don't see the point in paying like about 400 rupees for this book not not like this book is bad but just like it's such a small book so 400 rupees does not make sense for me so i was really happy to see it go below to like 300 rupees yeah i'm very excited to read this i don't know which country is this okay this is a korean book keeping in touch with the korean literature we have breast and eggs by miko kawakami this is also one of those books which is always a bit expensive on amazon about like 500 rupees and the mrp of the book is also very high and i found it for like about 360 rupees during the sale so i was like i have to have this i've read uh, miko kawakami's short story miss ice sandwich and it was just it honestly is like one of the like top three short stories i've ever read like it was so heart touching i did not expect a 90 page book to just hit me so like hit me so hard in my feelings like i cried so much when i read that short story i have her other book heaven on audiobook on audible i think so it is still free i have it downloaded on my phone i have not gotten around to finishing it or starting it even but i'm very excited to read this i was also looking to get all the lovers in the night but it is still a bit expensive because it is like the bigger paperback so the mrp for that is something like about 750 so it goes to about 500 rupees even during the sale so i'm just waiting for the smaller paperback to be released very soon up next we have is an ember in the ashes by sabat tahir it's a fantasy series it's very 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 popular if there are like four books in the series and i've heard people just say it is so good the character development the characters are very amazing like you bond with them so much it's very emotional it's very fast-paced high stakes high like very high stakes and thrilling and suspenseful so i'm very excited to see where this goes and the last book we have today is bear town by frederick bachman i own two frederick bachman books a man called uber and anxious people i have not read both of them yet but i have heard just so great things about his books and i'm very excited to see this is a series set in a in like bear town and the bear town is a small town in a large swedish forest i don't really know the plot of this book but i don't want to even just like look it up because i know it's going to be a while before i get to the series but I know like there is some heavy heavy stuff in this series it's all about sexual abuse and then the society like what they choose because well, the perpetrator i think so he's like the star hockey player i think so 
he's like a very popular person and a very powerful not powerful but just like a very important person in the town and then just like it will just bring shame on the town so what everybody does it's all about community coming together to save someone's honor and stuff like that there are a lot of trigger warnings for this series so you can definitely look it up before making the decision to buy this i don't look up trigger warnings usually because i have it in me to digest a lot of serious things especially like when i can detach from the story because if a story fucks with my head and it is very triggering to me then i know i will be a mess so that's that's actually the reason why i'm not reading a little life because i know the writing of that book is just so good that it is going to fuck with my head so yeah we have those four books today i am very excited about all of them i'm so excited to read all of them and i have two more books coming i don't think so they will get in time for this vlog but i got americana by chimamanda ngoji adichie i'm very sorry if the pronunciation is very wrong i i hope it's right because i've like looked it up multiple times so that is what i found on the internet and then the last book i have is skyth by neil shusterman i don't know if it's skyth or scythe but it's also like a ya dystopian fantasy series i'm very excited to read it i got it for like about 290 rupees which is very cheap for it to be like it usually goes to around 380 rupees or something like that there are like two more books which i want to get and i'm honestly very 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 tempted to get them right now you know what let's fucking go like one of the books i know i'm going to get right now ooh ooh you guys are seeing my shopping addiction win over me in real time i honestly also i was debating whether i want to get akatar because it also was on sale and i kind of want to make a reading vlog for it and just document my experience okay the book that i'm getting right now is ghost by dolly alderton i love her books and then the second book i honestly I don't know if I want to get that. I want to get the Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont, but it's kind of expensive right now. So maybe I, you know what? I'm going to be very responsible and I'm going to wait for it to drop a little more. <gasps> oh, I did not see this yesterday. Wait. 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 Yeah, I'm getting this also. Like I don't care about responsible decisions. I've been waiting for this to go down. Okay, so I also put the book of form and emptiness by Ruth Ozeki. I've been waiting for it to go down, and it did go down. It's at three sixty nine rupees, so I'm gonna buy it. It usually is for like about four fifty six rupees. I've been tracking it for like almost like six months now, and it has finally gone down. So I am I'm dropping the bucks. Also, a little social media addiction update, if you will. Kind of like not thought about Instagram that much, like. I'm going on Instagram like once a day like opening up my laptop and just like checking what is up like because there are a few things which I like to keep updates on just going once a day and just checking for updates because I just like to see like people who have DM me like the main reason I go back is for the DMs as for YouTube I am watching a fair bit of YouTube but I'm doing that through the Chrome tab like I'm not just like always going back and watching from my home page like every single time i'm watching a youtube video for the past 2 3 whatever days i've not vlogged i'm going specifically to watch one particular video and i feel like that is like okay for me. that is like okay for me things which i'm watching like i am consciously choosing to watch them it's not something which i'm doing out of boredom or out of habit or out of just like It's like I don't have anything to do, so let's go on YouTube and let's watch this or let's watch what comes up. I'm doing surprisingly very well. The main issue for me was Instagram, and I feel like I've tackled that very well. So I don't really know what is going to be my plan to re-enter back into the social media game. Like I don't know if I want to hold off for another week or so, or do I just want to come back on Thursday like I planned? I am just stalling, not. starting to organize my room because i don't want to do it it's so much work look how pretty they look just look at it okay let's tie up the hair put on a youtube video in the background
Hi, what is up? I am having lunch. I'm actually just eating out of the pan because I don't want to wash another dish. Mom, if you're watching, don't get mad. But, as I was saying, I was not saying anything. I've not spoken to the camera all day today. But, I've not been productive, like quote unquote productive this morning because I just wanted to take it a bit slow today. I don't have a class today. My evening class also got cancelled just now. I woke up, I made my coffee, I just did my morning chores and then I watched a movie. I watched The Princess Diaries for the first time today. It was a good movie. Yeah. Like I, I really, really, really like watching like the chick flicks. I really like watching those movies. They're just so light, funny, fluffy. Like I don't get a hangover afterwards. Like I don't feel drained out of like my mind if I like I do feel that way if I watch like a serious movie. I'm gonna give you guys like a brief tour of all of the books like what I have done all day yesterday. I spent the entire day yesterday just trying to organize my books and that is all I could get done. Like I wanted to also organize my closet and just clean out and go through my clothes and stuff like that. Like organizing my books just takes so fucking long and so much time. I also got another package from Amazon. I got like this five mason jar set. I can't wait to be so fucking aesthetic drinking my iced coffee out of a mason jar. I've been waiting for this price to go down and it finally did. Like when I see it in my hand, I honestly want to get a size bigger, but this is like 500 ml. And I know like I should not be drinking fluids bigger than this at one time. A half a liter of iced coffee is more than enough for one time. So I'm gonna stick with this size. Just look at it, it's so fucking aesthetic. Like you can get mason jars in stores, like you can buy single piece, like locally and for like a cheaper price, but it usually has the handle and then it has like the colorful lid with the straw. I don't like that aesthetic at all. This plain mason jar, like the OG mason jar aesthetic. I have it right now. I have a set of five. I got it for super cheap. I got it for about like 384 rupees, something like that. I will, I will link these guys down below if you are interested. Even if this is not for sale, the quality, I, I really like the quality. The glass is thick enough where it does not feel flimsy and it does not even feel like that bulky. So yeah. That is another thing and I also got like a really, a really, really, really exciting mail after a really, really, really bumming out mail. Like I received a mail yesterday which honestly just fucked my entire mood over. I got so sad, I got so angry, I got so frustrated because of it that I literally had to call Anshul and went out about it because like she only like out of everybody I know only answer would understand the effect I was having up because of that email so I, I, we did that like we spoke on FaceTime for about like half an hour like I don't even like maybe 45 50 minutes also but after that like literally when we were on FaceTime we got like one of the best mails ever like it makes me happy but it's it made answer like twice thrice more happy because it's just amazing you guys will see most likely in the next haul or in the next vlog also i have been just thinking about how i want to make this series as such like i titled the first video where i deleted all of my social media as life reset episode one and this is episode two and i just want to i was just like thinking about how to go ahead with the series like what i can do like how i can work it around like in like terms of content and i have decided to make it as like a weekly vlog series for like about like one to two months and instead of just having my entire life reset happen one week it will be extremely pressuring on me to just get done with all of the things that i wanted to change in one week like there is a lot of things like a lot of things which i wanted to get done for the life reset so I'm thinking of doing this as like a weekly vlog series where 
I just tackle one issue every single week and build up on other habits and stuff which I want to pursue and from next week onwards like the rest of the week I will be vlogging it as like a separate episode so just like tackling few different issues few different things which I want to work on every single week and then just like reset my life in that way I feel like that is much more sustainable than just like having like all of different having like plans set and then not being able to work on them because the week of making that plan was so hectic and so like like pressuring on myself so yeah that is the way to go ahead as for the last before i go social media update i am not really looking back to go on instagram like the only thing i miss is just posting the reels which i want to make posting the reviews which i want to post so i'm missing the creating and the posting aspect of it so i don't know how i'm going to do that because i cannot post reels on my laptop i cannot post reels through the browser on my phone i need to download the app for that and I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do because the self-control aspect of it the me not going and not uh, clicking on the app and just doom scrolling that is the difficult part so I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that YouTube so far has been really good like whenever I'm going and watching videos I am going like I am looking for those videos like when I'm eating or when I want to have a little bit of entertainment I'm purposefully going and watching the vlogs so like I am very mindful and I'm very aware of what I'm watching and how much I'm watching so that is actually what I wanted to wanted to happen after the social media detox like instead of just taking the mindless doom scrolling I wanted to be much more purposeful and much more mindful and much more conscious and I feel like I've achieved that already I am not gonna install the app today itself I'm gonna wait till tomorrow night and I'm gonna install it on Thursday after the entire week has passed I completely forgot to give you guys the bookshelf changes that I've done and this video already has gone on for way too long so I will do that in the next episode as well so yeah that's another reason for you guys to come back and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want just let's chat and subscribe for more videos I will see you soon bye